Okay, I am almost 32 weeks pregnant. Tomorrow I'll be 32 weeks pregnant. And I have three kids. So ignore the giant mess. But for the Reindeer Readathon, there's a prompt where I have to randomly pick like three books that I'm interested in. And then or, or, I pick three books that I'm interested in and then have that randomly picked by like a roll of a die or having your pet pick it. I have a very special pet that is going to pick which book I'm going to read. But I was going to get just like another novel or something, we, but I've decided. We have a kitten worth of $50. That's no name. Anyways, Rylan, watch out. I decided I've I haven't been reading my Christian books and nonfiction books very much. So I'm gonna have my kids each pick one book from here, and then I have a very special pet, not the kitten, actually, is gonna pick uh which one of these three I read. So, Rylan, I want you to pick up one of these. Kitty pick choose. which one I pick. Have one, let the kitty choose. I'll put a bunch no, of not this out, time. and let everyone Maybe the kitty can pick one of my reads later. And whenever one she sniffs first, is that the one? And then Maya's gonna pick one, and Sophie's gonna pick one. So you can have a look at it while Rylan's going through that. Mm -hmm. Maya, stop! I'm not letting you see them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one. Here's my baby. This is my birthday gift. Yes, he's so cute. I like the name Phil, Gary, or Drax. If we ever get but a girl, nobody likes them. If we ever get a girl kitten, I'm naming her Titan. 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 Hey, asshole. Okay, so which one did you pick, Rylan? Why did you pick this one? Uh, because I like birds. Ooh. Let's see. It's called Made for More. Reminds me of I like the cover. Piece, I like how it's um, like, like, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's like faded, like distressed kind of. That's old before I even picked it up. Made for more, an invitation to live in God's image by Hannah Anderson. Okay, Am so I Sophie, you're picking one. Marlon, don't carry the cat like that. Marlon's got half of them flipped backwards. So we'll put this one under oh, here. A lot of girl books, like mommy Woman. or wife, Woman. or not like just Christian specific, but women specific. Yeah, just pick one you want me to read. What do you think of the name Phil? Hey, this is the one you're picking? Yes. I really like this cover too. I love the galaxy. So, God's many Mommy, voices, learning sucker. to listen, expectant to hear. So, why'd Mommy. you pick this one, Sophie? Sophie? What? Why'd you pick this one? Uh, I think it looks pretty. Mommy. It's a cover pick. Uh, um, hold on. Um, it sounds like a good book. Hmm. And then, Maya, you have to I pick one. Which one? So, now you're getting him to pick which one you're picking? What are you picking, little buddy? What are you picking? Which one did you pick? That looks like a sofa. Everyone, he snatched the one. Yeah. Come on. Over here. Leave the suck holes in there. Go. He's like, I'm confused. What is going on? There's at the kids. Give me. Oh. I have the drawing that you drew in my locker. How do you know which one he's picking? Okay, that one. She said whatever which one he sniffs. He sniffs first. So he sniffs this one first. Okay, so, okay, little baby kitten, why did you pick that book? <laughs> why did you pick that one? So this is A Woman and Her God, uh, and this is a Beth Moore. So I haven't read a lot of Beth Moore, but she's very popular. So uh, Beth Moore and a whole bunch of other people, so maybe it's like an anthology? I don't know. But anyway, so I have these three to pick from, and I have, like I said, a very special no. pet that will pick which one of these three I actually read. So I got my three books here, A Woman and Her God. Careful, Maribel. I got both of the cats in my room. Many, God's Many Voices. Maribel, you're not helping. You're not the one picking the book. Yeah. I know, you're the star of the house, but... 
Maribel picks at God's Many Voices, anyways. <laughs> and made for more. So these are my three choices. Maribel! Get out of here! Because I put something on the floor at her level. Hey! <laughs> She looks hilarious. Mar Maribel? Just, uh, she, uses, she keeps on choosing God's many voices. She stepped on made for more, but okay. That's good. Now, <laughs> she stepped on it again. <laughs> One more per book. Yeah. Okay. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly worm. Do, do, do. We, have a we have a very special guest to for the video today, and he's gonna pick what book. Oh no, don't don't go off, don't go off. And as you can tell, it's probably not a dog or cat with putting worms on it. So ah! we got a new pet in our house in the last month. couple of weeks. Yeah, it hasn't even been a full month, I don't think, since we've had him. Ah! Oh, so I can't grab them, they squirt. No! Stop trying to leave the can't book! Can't grab one and put it on the other book, and then. I can't, they wouldn't. I'll put too much. him down really quick. Stop! It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Ugh. Okay, so, so stop trying to leave the book. Okay, okay. It's All right, Rex. Choose one. I'm putting this thing up. Don't get distracted by this thing. Oh, 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 oh. That's oh. the one he picked. A woman and her guy. Good job, Rex. Good job. Now get the worms off my other books because they're gross. Thank you. Oh, he doesn't like that one. That's one Maribel kept picking. Um, you know, nom, nom, do you nom, hear nom. that crunching? So gross. It's Me satisfying. and my husband were talking about how we have to keep the food alive to keep our pets alive. You gotta get the last one. Hi. It's he's dangerous to feed with your. So this don't is the put, one he picked. Do not put your fingers around Rex while not he's eating. Not while he's eating, but otherwise he's fine. Thanks, buddy. You're a good helper. Okay, so since my Maribel was so interested in helping us last time, I'm going to get her help this time. Here she comes. She says, oh, you're sitting at my level. I have to sniff you. So I'm going to get Maribel to pick my so standalone good. book. So I have She's The Silent good. Wife She's by Carrie good. Fisher. All of these would work for a new author I haven't read yet, but uh, I have a different book for that. The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. I've heard that A.J. Finn is controversial, but I bought that book at Chapters with a 2 for 15 deal. Probably with one of these other two books. And, I don't know, we'll see if the book's any good. And then The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen, which I've heard good things about both of them. So we'll see. Okay, Maribel's just going to go for the one closest to her. So let's see if I can spin her around. Maribel, look at me. Look at me, Maribel. Yeah, so my daughter's homesick today. Okay, Maribel. Go look. Leo's gonna come pick. Look at my books. Look over here. Look. Oh. Maribel, look. look. Look at my books. The snack on. <laughs> she completely ignored it. Did she ignore that one? Oh, so she picked. She ignored the silent way. Yeah, so she picked the woman in the window. Maribel, there's one on each one, you goose. Oh, she said, there it is. And then the wife between us. So Maribel picked the middle one and drooled on my book. Look at that. Gross. Ew. Maribel. Maribel can drool on oh, this she's book, too. worse than the worms and the lizard. Oh, she lizard. licked it. She <laughs> licked it. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. <laughs> You're dirtier than Rex. Oh, is this is... one slimy, too? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank you for your help, Maribel. So here I am in person, live in front of the camera with my onesie reindeer pajamas. And I am 32 weeks pregnant today and they still fit. I bought them at like Value Village, so they have pockets. But yes, they're my oh, onesie pajamas. So I was like debating what to wear for this video and then I saw these and I was like, yeah, obviously I gotta wear this. So I have some books, as you saw, the animals picked out some books for me and stuff. So I'm just going to quickly go through what the prompts are and what I'm reading for the Reindeer Readathon in starting in like less than 48 hours. I am excited. I'm going to look at my computer here. 
Ignore my dirty house. So the prompts, Dasher, a short story or collection or novella. There are two books on Hoopla I am going to use. One is like the Christmas cat and one is the Christmas dog. I can't remember exactly what they're called, but there is a bonus prompt for Christmas Lights Read an Ebook, and that one's available on my phone as an ebook. So I guess I get double points for that one. Dancer, a book by one of your favorite authors. So my husband picked this one out for me. I had a Karen Slaughter or a Michael Connolly book, so he picked out the Michael Connolly book, which is fair warning. It is not. This is not one of the Harry Bosch books. This is a different reporter Jack McAvoy. Yeah, normally like his big series is Harry Bosch, which is also a show on Amazon Prime video. Really good. I really enjoy it. But this is told from, this is a different main character, so that'll be good. So this is favorite author, Michael Connelly. He's a favorite author because he is the one who really got me back into reading when I was 16 and I've been reading like nonstop since then. Prancer, a book with a travel element vacation quest etc so me and my friend went shopping the beginning um in may maybe june i can't remember but there was a book in chapters for a dollar that was a christmas book so we're going to start this december 1st and it is t.a williams dreaming of christmas and i was trying to think of one with like i was looking all over for like travel element christmas books and then i picked up the back of this one and it says dumped on christmas eve it's been a rough year for zoe lumsley but then she gets an invitation she can't refuse and all expenses paid skiing holiday with old university friends so there you go my vacation travel book which is also going to be a buddy read with my friend and then Vixen, a book that has recently caught your eye. So I just recently bought Father Christmas and Me by Matt Haig, which I read the other two books last year, A Boy Called Christmas and The Girl Who Saved Christmas. And A Boy Called Christmas is now a movie as well. I believe it's out on Netflix. So I'm excited to watch that with the friends. These books are really fun and whimsical. And uh, I definitely want to read more by Matt Haig. Some more, like I read The Midnight Library at the beginning of this year. So more like adult ones, but these ones are cute and fun and they do have some pictures and stuff in them. The only thing about this book that kind of sucks is that I bought it uh, as a paperback and the other two I bought because they were on sale at a store in BC for, I can't remember how much they were, but they were on sale and they are hardback. So that kind of sucks, but that's okay. So this is a book that recently caught my eye. Comet is a five star prediction and I have no idea what to pick for that. I do have The Poet X, I'm thinking is going to be five stars, but I don't know if I'm ready to tackle that one yet, just because I know, like, I really want to, like, dive into that one, because I know it's about religion and kind of, like, challenging your parents' religion and trying to find, like, what you believe in yourself. So I'm still thinking about the five-star prediction, so come back to me on that one. Take a shot at reading a new author. No. So that's going to be You by Carolyn uh, Kepnes. I have not read this one yet, but I want to read it and then watch the Netflix show. And there's also a bonus prompt for reading a book over 500 pages. And this book is like 435. And then my other book I have is like just 400 and something as well. So I don't have a 500 page book to read in December. Not yet anyways. So we'll see. And then my daughter's was playing Minecraft and now the music is playing and I don't know how to make it stop. Make it stop. There's no like settings on her Minecraft page. I have to get out of this. Well, now I'm playing Minecraft. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, sorry about that. I figured it out. I got it muted. New author, so Carolyn Kepnes with you. A book with green or red as the primary color on the cover for Donner, and that one is gonna be my buzzword a thon word, Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. This is also, this is the book that is just under 500 pages, and this is also a new author for me. I have not read any Tiffany D. Jackson yet. So, the buzzword a thon for December is the name of a day of the week, a season, or a month. So, I'm going with Monday's Not Coming. This is a book I wanted to read in October for the Black Aween a thon and never got to it. So, I'm excited that it can cover prompt in the Reindeer Readathon and a prompt in the Buzzword a thon. So, excited about that. Choose at least three books, Blitzen, choose at least three books and have one chose randomly to read. So, that 
was Rex, our bearded dragon, behind me in that tank. And he chose A Woman and Her God by Beth Moore. And then Rudolph, a standalone book, which I had, again, a few books to pick. So we had Maribel pick, picked The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn for me. And that's my books for the Reindeer Readathon. I just have to find the five-star prediction, and maybe that five-star prediction can also be a 500-page book. I don't know yet. And I don't have an audiobook, so we will see. That's my Reindeer Readathon. I am Team Stocking. So comment down below... Where am I here? Comment down below what team you are on, if you're participating, uh, and what your what book you're most excited about. I think like a five star prediction out of these books would be Monday's Not Coming, that I'm really excited about, and then a fun one would be the Father Christmas, and I also have this Comfort and Joy book, which is a fable. I don't know if that counts as a short story or not. So we'll see. Uh, I want to get to this anyways because it's Christmas time, so this might be part of the other readathon that I'm doing as well. But we'll see. Anyways, like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!